Hi, I'm Nick with Barger Drones, and this video is to show you how to install and operate the Barger Drone Siren on your Phantom Drone. Included in your package will be the Barger Drone Siren, numerous long and short zip ties, a screwdriver, and a clippers. Make sure the 9 volt battery on the siren is properly in place and make sure that the door on the battery compartment is fully shut so that it does not fall off. Put the siren on the back of the Phantom's legs. Do not push too hard, but make sure that it is fully connected in all four places. Next, we secure the siren with zip ties. We put four zip ties on the legs to secure the horn to the drone. When you put the zip ties on the legs, be sure to go through the two tiny slots on either side of the drone legs. Now we need to hook up the photo sensor. You will need to pop off the small LED plastic cover. Please use your small screwdriver or similar tool and locate the small notch at the very end of the arm. Insert your screwdriver and gently take the cover off. Next, connect the siren's photo transistor to the slot. The photo transistor should fit in the same way that the LED cover came out by lining up the slot on the sensor cover with the two small tabs that point towards the body of the aircraft. The wire should be lined up with the rotor arm so that it can be easily attached to the aircraft body. Next use the longer zip ties included in the kit to secure the wire to the rotor arms, one on the front and one on the back. Next, we need to program a customizable button on the remote control so that we can turn the siren on and off. Turn on the Phantom, your tablet, and the remote. Use the usual pre-flight activation sequence recommended by DJI. We are not attaching the propellers for this test. Now the Phantom, the tablet, and the remote are ready for operating. DJI GO 4 should be pulled up on your tablet. The GO FLY button should be present showing the aircraft is ready. Once the flight panel is open, you should be able to see the icons across the top, including the aircraft symbol and remote symbol. We are using an Android device, but your Apple tablet should be similar. Open the remote controller settings by pressing the remote control icon on top of the flight panel. It should open to show you remote controller calibration, stick mode, and button customization. If you are right-handed, you should reprogram button C2. You will need to scroll through the choices on C2 by pressing it and scrolling down to the turn on and off front LED choice. Now to test it. Click the C2 button on the remote to turn the siren on. The siren will remain on until you press the C2 button again to turn it off. It is not necessary to keep the siren on the drone at all times. To take the siren off, reverse the installation process. So as simple as that, happy hurting.